Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to turn off that annoying Mac startup sound that really reminds me of my phones from back in the day. Like if I ever had like an AT&T phone or something, they would always play like that little AT&T sound. MacBooks do the same thing, which is totally okay. And, and there's an easy way to turn it off. Then there's kind of another easier way to turn it off permanently as well. So the way it works actually is that if you have your MacBook muted before you restart your computer, apparently that startup sound will not come up, which is really cool. But most of the time, we won't necessarily remember to mute our computer before we actually go and restart it. So if you're planning on restarting your computer, you can just mute it and go ahead and restart it. And that's the easiest way to do it. But the alternative way to do it to permanently turn it off, it will require you to code a little bit, but not even that much. It's literally one line of code and you do it within your terminal. So you want to go ahead and go into your MacBook. You want to search up terminal by searching up that little top right corner, the little magnifying glass. Click that type in terminal and you will see this little box thing that come up. Okay, so once you see that, all you have to do is copy the little line of code that I have in the description below, and you want to paste it right within that terminal. So it should say sudo nvram system audio volume equals percent 80. And so once you do that, you want to click enter. And then once you do that, it'll prompt you to type in your password. So you want to go ahead and type in that password. And then from now on, pretty much any time you restart your computer, you will not hear that chime ever again, which is really, really cool. However, if you want to bring that back up for some reason, I don't know why you'd want to, but if you want to do it, you can copy that second line of code that I have in the description. It says sudo nvram dash d system audio volume, and that'll go ahead and reset it back to normal. So that's the alternative way to do it if you want to bring it back. But in reality, this is exactly how you do it. But again, if you want a little quick fix and you don't want to type in all that and mess with it, you can just mute your computer, restart it and go from there. So that's really pretty much the process. If you guys run into any other problems or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate if you guys would check it out. More importantly than everything, I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Totally.